sounds as though, it, or seems as though, it could be a great um, a mechanism to use to add new sorts of value to wealth creation and uh, good social services. I think Christchurch is particularly interesting because of its situation. Um, so there's a, there's, a, there's a bunch of really interesting and complex problems that are quite unique that exist in Christchurch. So as a city uh, and as a context, I think it has a huge potential to, to have design thinking being applied to it. And I think that's very interesting. Solving real problems and having to come up with um, real users who were and whose needs we're trying to meet in workshops like this is really useful for us in terms of understanding how to do real world creativity. As someone who's been a teacher for 20 years I found it really interesting from a pedagogical point of view because um, it, it did all the things that we don't typically do in a university classroom and there were lots of techniques and ways of doing things that I'd now like to integrate into my own teaching. I think it would be fantastic if the university was to, to lead this and facilitate this. Working with industry alongside of course and um, to be a place, uh, you know, a hotbed of, of this kind of creative thinking. What I especially uh, find quite um, interesting is the thought of having a design school in Christchurch. We can see Christchurch as having a uh, something being a green field or a clean slate. Uh, lots of opportunity to create something new and very different and so design thinking is well seems to be to me uh, well tailored to coming up with innovative creative solutions. We have a lot of work to do in Christchurch and uh, design thinking could help us with identifying the needs and uh, responding to these needs in, um, um, in a modern and uh, quite inspirational way. A lot of people dared to bring out a theatrical aspect of themselves. I mean, you usually don't see that. People put on wigs, people put on uh, other crazy stuff on their head. They started to sing, um, they started to act. And this is something that you don't normally get in a cooperative environment. Just being able to dare to do something like that in front of others, um, you know, creating a space where this can happen, it's amazing.